Praise the Lord. I'll read this in your hearing just to expedite time. But if you have the word, if you have the scripture, say amen. 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 I sound like almost uh, everybody. That's good enough for me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> in Ephesians, the third chapter, starting at verse 20 and 21, it reads as this. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen. If you go over to Exodus, the 14th chapter, and starting at verse 13, and Moses said to the people, do not be afraid, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today for the Egyptians whom ye see you shall see again no more forever in verse 28 then the waters returned and covered the chariots the horsemen and all the army of Pharaoh that they came into the sea after them not so much as one of them remained but the children of Israel had walked on dry land in the midst of the sea and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left and in verse 31 it just simply reads as this thus Israel saw the great work which the Lord had done in Egypt so the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. And it's out of verse 31, I just want to draw for a quick thought. The great work which the Lord has done. But I want to do a subtopic. I don't usually do a subtopic. But the subtopic simply is this. When God delivers, it's going to blow your mind. Hallelujah. When God delivers, he's going to blow your mind. I'm going to work with the time that they gave me. Hallelujah. I hope my time keep us somewhere out there that I can see you. <laughs> Many of us understand that there was a liberation of the children of Israel because they were in slavery. They found themselves in the midst of individuals who had grown to come to hate them. They found themselves being mistreated, abused. They were in a place where they could not escape on their own. And if you look at what the children of Israel were going through, sometimes we find ourselves in a similar situation. Right. Amen. When you can't break free from the circumstance, it seems like it has a grip on you. It has a hold on everything that you are about. And you're wondering, where is God in my situation? Thank you, Lord. And it's, it's a natural thing that when you're being suppressed or oppressed like this, you will start to develop some hatred for your oppressor. Hallelujah. You, you're so one, you're so trying to figure out where God is that you forget about God and you start trying to work things out on your own. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But I'm so glad that the word of God hallelujah gave us this story as an example if you open your Bibles if you still have them open in Romans the 15th chapter in verse 4 it simply says that for whatsoever things were written in times past hallelujah were written for our learning that though through patience hallelujah sometimes you got to have a little bit of patience hallelujah when God's working this thing out hallelujah and the comfort of the scriptures hallelujah that might have hope hallelujah i'm so glad hallelujah that god did not take away the hope hallelujah amen out of the situation glory so like the children of israel they were they they, they find themselves where they were being oppressed but then here's what happened hallelujah we're going to speed on through this thing if you look at the 
context and if you understand the story, they had just experienced 10 plagues, hallelujah, that broke the grip and hold of Pharaoh on them, hallelujah. They had just come through a miraculous move of God, hallelujah. How many people have found themselves when you've experienced a move of God, hallelujah? You understand that you were in a situation and God brought you up, hallelujah. You said, God, I'm so glad, hallelujah. If you had not intervened, hallelujah, where would I be in this situation? But God, who is rich in mercy, pull it up. When I was against him, he was still for me. When I was his enemy, he commanded his love. to stay on time here so I found myself hallelujah wondering I just came through a move of the Lord and now God has moved me from one place into what I thought was going to be my exit hallelujah but this is what happens with the world and the children of Israel found themselves in this condition oh thank you Jesus see everything was going good but Pharaoh hallelujah decided Decided, I'm not going to let you go. Hallelujah. And I'm going to pursue you because I'm going to bring you back. Hallelujah. And when they started to flee, they ran into another problem. They ran into a sea. Then they didn't have a bridge. They ran into a sea and they didn't have no boat. Hallelujah. They had no means of crossing this water. Hallelujah. Now you may say, hallelujah, that was Pharaoh's army. But look at the parallel in your life. Hallelujah. When you break free of something, sometimes it gets upset and it wants to bring you back. Hallelujah. And the devil will use everything in his power to try to bring you back from where God has delivered you from. And you find yourself not just fighting against one person, but you find yourself fighting against your family. You find yourself fighting on a job. You find yourself fighting in the school. You find yourself fighting in the church. And you wonder, where is God in the situation? But here, Pharaoh's army, they're trying to bring them on back. But God had something up his sleeves. Because when God delivers, it's going to blow your mind. Thank you, Jesus. So there they were, hallelujah, trying to outrun Pharaoh. But now they're facing a sea. You say, well, what's the sea, brother? I'm glad you asked. The sea is everything you can't control. Hallelujah. Everything in life that's beyond your ability. You can't pay it off. You can't necessarily shake it off. You're not going to dance this one out. You can jump and scream. You can have a good praise. But the problem is still there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So now you find yourself in a bad place but I'm here to tell you you gotta have some Joseph faith you got to get like Joseph and get over to Genesis in the fifth chapter 50 chapter and you said to your situation you meant it unto evil but God set me up for this good God has got a plan to get me out hallelujah Jesus, oh yes, I'm so glad that God has a plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there they were in the midst of the sea, or against the sea, and the, the Egyptians of Pharaoh army was behind them. And I'm gonna tell you this much, uh, hallelujah. I believe in the old world right at one side. When God gets ready, you've got to move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you when today. If I had more time, I would preach about that too. Hallelujah. It's just letting you know he's a right now God. He's a all-time God. He'll work out through the 
of situations. He'll do it because of his namesake. He'll do it because he's almighty. He'll do it. And no power is going to stop him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, Lord. Thank you. I got to end this thing. So when I was reading and I was preparing for this, I said, Lord, I see a parallel. Watch with me. Come walk with me. God was foreshadowing something. What happened here? I see Moses show up as a deliverer. Note that. I see ten plagues that come to bring about their freedom, but it caused the people to what? Turn their hearts back to God. Hallelujah. And then I look down and I see before they came out, they had to shed some blood and put it on a doorpost. I'm starting to see a picture here. Hallelujah. And then I see them according to the word. They go through on dry land. Hallelujah. And then I see them when they get on the other side. There's a praise. I said, Lord, are you telling me that before Peter ever stood up in Acts 2.38, you already laid out the pathway? Repent and be baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. The blood had to be shed before they could get out. The blood had to go on the doorpost before they could get out. And when they got there, they passed through the water. I said when they got there, they had to pass through the water. They didn't get baptized in a traditional way. But they went through the water. And when they got on the other side, there was a praise. Hallelujah. I see it in the word. I said, God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you. Watch what happened. They were what? Separating themselves from the Egyptians. But if you look at the spiritual part, they were separating themselves from the sin. Hallelujah. When we come through the blood, God separates us. Hallelujah. Pharaoh didn't understand this. That the people of God were always to be a holy people. A separate people. Hallelujah. But God in his word. I believe. I believe we put 2 Timothy 2.24 on the program. And it says, therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use. And a part, hallelujah, is holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. I'm so glad that I now know that when God separated me from my sin, he made me holy. I'm so glad. When God touched me, he laid his hands on me. I'm so glad he didn't just do it for me. He did it for you too. Hallelujah. And in close, I got to tell you the story. I don't know how many people read the news. March 1st, over in Ohio, a truck driver was driving a truck. There was an accident. It caused the truck to go over the barrier. The barrier. It was hanging from the bridge. She was in the cab and had no way out. I, 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 I said, God, they took 40 minutes. To 
to try to rescue. They were successful, but that wasn't the part that made me shout. The shout came when I understood. Hallelujah. You may not always know the why. You may not always know the how, but I know the who is able to do it for me. You know the who who knows how to clear pathway. You know the who who will wake up in the midnight hour with you. You know the who. Hallelujah. Let's go back and close the scripture. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask. Hallelujah. Thank you. According to the power that works in us. Hallelujah. To him be glory. You've been Christ Jesus for all generations. I don't need to know why. I don't know why he cared. But I'm all so glad he did. He did. He did. He did. He shed his blood. And I love him. I praise him. I got to give him the glory. Jesus. 